I'll call them brothers from different mothers, call them rivals, call them siblings, whatever you want to call them. But the VW Vento and Skoda Rapid are essentially the same car. So does the VW Vento's higher sticker price justify its abilities or is the Skoda Rapid a better car at a lower price? We'll find out on the show today. Both boots are well shaped and there's minimal suspension intrusion into both of them. And both have got big openings as well, which means that both these cars are very good in terms of luggage carrying capacity for those airport transfers. Well, who wins the boot battle? No one, to be honest, because it's a tie between these two cars, because the shape of the boots as well as their capacity is almost identical. Well, here I am now inside the Skoda Rapids cabin and you could really mistake this cabin for the VW Vento because of course both of these cars share the exact same uh, cabin designs and even the buttons and everything else is uh, the same. The only difference is that the steering wheel on the Rapid isn't flat bottom like the one on the VW Vento. Now the Vento's cabin really does have an air of classiness and poshness about itself because of the fine materials that they use and even though the design is similar inside the Rapid, its quality levels are slightly lower than on the VW. Well, just like the Vento, the Rapid also comes pretty well equipped. You of course get Bluetooth connectivity for your telephone, you get automatic climate control, you also get an SD card slot as well as a USB along with auxiliary input for uh, music on the stereo and you also get the ESP button which of course means that uh, traction control is taken care of. Well, so here I am now inside the VW Vento's cabin and the first thing which strikes you inside this car is the sheer level of quality it is the best car in the mid-size segment in terms of overall material quality as well as build quality everything is put together really solidly and all the switches all the levers over here have a very nice and tactile feel about them and this car really will age well and the best part of course is this steering wheel which is flat bottom at the end it really is great to grip but well, in terms of equipment both these cars are very similar to each other and uh, they have of course the identical same dashboard as well so you get the same uh, level of uh, practicality and uh, places to keep stuff at you get this big tray over here where you can keep that wallet or uh, small uh, cups you also get uh, a box over here where you can keep your cell phone and the door bins are large enough to house those one liter bottles in them well another area where the vento is slightly ahead of the rapid is in the seat comfort these seats are uh, comfortable for the long journeys because the cushioning is very good even the under thigh support is excellent and the bolstering on the sides is good as well so in terms of the cabin ambience the vento clearly has the edge because of its class leading interiors and plastic quality well, here I am now in the back seat of the VW Vento and just like the front, even the back seat have uh, a lot of good qualities about them. First of all, of course, the cabin ambience in this car is way superior to most of its rivals and clearly ahead of the Skoda Rapid. And in terms of comfort, these are very comfortable seats as well. As you can see, knee room is uh, pretty decent considering that I have adjusted the front seat for my driving position as always and my height for reference is 5'10". Headroom uh, is uh, pretty good as well and uh, you also get this central armrest which you can take out of course for those long journeys and uh, put your arm here and really relax in the back of the Vento. Well the Vento is supreme on practicality and one of the key features over here is this lever behind the front uh, passenger seat. Now what this lever does is that uh, it enables the occupant over here to pull it and push the seat all the way up ahead for extra legroom at the back. So if you are someone who is chauffeur driven then this car is really great for those long journeys. Well, there's one downside inside the Vento, just like the Rapid, and that is, of course, the transmission tunnel over here is really huge. And what that means is whoever's gonna sit in the middle seat will have to struggle for legroom with the co-occupants. As in the Vento, there's good amounts of knee room in the Rapid as well. Headroom is uh, generous. And you get the same AC one at the back and this uh, little bottle holder over here. You also get this transmission tunnel identical to the Vento again. Well, the only area where you can actually spot which car you're sitting inside is over here because uh, unlike the Vento, which is more convenient, the Rapid does not offer you a lever at the back from where the passenger over here can push this seat forward. So that's a feature which is missing on the Rapid and uh, gives the Vento a slight advantage, but not a big one 
because remember this car is identical in terms of comfort, seat cushioning as well as overall space. Well, so here I am driving the diesel version of the VW Entro. Now the Rapid also gets exactly the same engine and it's a 103 bhp uh, diesel unit and uh, it's one of the more refined uh, engines in this segment. Now this car of course uh, comes with a manual gearbox and there's also the option of an automatic. It's a 7 speed dual clutch automatic on uh, both these cars, the Rapid as well as the Vento. Well in terms of driving pleasure or driving involvement, there's hardly uh, anything to choose between uh, both these cars. Both these cars are very closely matched to each other. Where the Vento seems to have a slight advantage over the uh, Rapid is in the high speed department. Uh, it feels a little more stable than that car but really this is a nitpicking. Both these cars are very evenly matched both in terms of city driving as well as highway manners. Well most uh, bumps and bad road surfaces are taken care of inside the Vento. This uh, car suspension is really very good. Well so if you want total peace of mind then choosing the 7 speed uh, DHG is a good option because uh, not only does it offer absolutely crisp responses, it's also very fuel efficient in nature and uh, VW of course claimed that uh, the automatic gearbox car will deliver a fuel efficiency of over 20 kpm. Well even though this isn't really an all-out driver's car, there is some fun to be had for the keen driver because uh, the chassis balance of this car is very good and it's also got very predictable handling. You know exactly what the front wheels are up to when you uh, push this car into corners and uh, the steering wheel is decently responsive as well. Well where the VW Vento truly excels is in the ride department. This car has one of the most cosetting rides in this uh, mid-size category and uh, even when you push it on the highway and you are doing speeds in excess of 100 kph, this car feels absolutely rock solid. Well, so here I am now driving the Skoda Rapid uh, and this car of course comes with the same uh, 1.5 litre diesel engine that the VW Entro also gets and you also choose the same uh, set of manual or automatic uh, gearboxes so uh, in essence it's uh, more or less the same car to drive the big difference of course is that uh, the steering wheel on the Skoda feels a lot more uh, weighted and it's a lot more heavier when you are in the city and uh, what that means is that uh, this car feels more engaging to drive than the VW Vento. Well just like the Vento the Rapid also comes with a DSG uh, gearbox and manual versions and the DSG really is a phenomenal gearbox on both these cars and with seven gears to choose from and uh, two clutches it really is one of the best gearboxes out there in the market. Well even though both these cars are mechanically identical to each other it's easy to see that the Rapid has a more uh, weighty steering wheel it has more weight in it and it also feels a little more responsive than the Vento's uh, steering wheel and what that means is that uh, this car is more engaging to drive and also uh, is better when you are pushing it around those corners in the hilly sections. Well noise, vibration and harshness levels are near identical in both these cars and what that means is that uh, the Rapid is as silent and as refined inside as the Vento. Well so in the overall analysis it really is the VW Vento which wins this battle. It has that really classy VW badge up ahead, that desirable cabin and that creamy diesel engine which certainly make it worth the price. <laughs>